An Let me just say in Congress, a number of our colleagues from the Progressive Caucus and the Hispanic Caucus have joined on this issue, walked last night in protest also, and have been arm in arm with us as we address it. Uh, as we talk about the NRA, mm -hmm. let me just tell you, the hypocrisy there is so blatant. Uh, one of the young men had a concealed carry weapon, a permit and weapon, which they advocate for, which they go around to states to advocate that they pass concealed carry laws, where you can bring weapons to work, to church, and to school. How do you advocate for that? And then you watch the result of it with a young black man who says, I have a permit which you advocated for, and you sit by quietly. And I'll just tell you, look, my life experiences, I always thought the NRA was not concerned about me. And I hunt, and I fish, and I own a gun. But the last few days have clarified it for me that their Second Amendment concern is void of concern for African Americans. And I just believe that we cannot give them a pass on not making a comment, not defending this young man, and not calling for some change. Let me just touch on the end, which was Black Lives Matter. People cannot use Black Lives Matter as a scapegoat. Uh, those young kids came together to protest something that was not imagined something that was real. And they came back, they started protesting in Ferguson. And the sad part is we keep having more events that they have to protest. So when we talk about their anger and their frustration and their activism, you can't blame them for these incidents happening. And as much as people would like to call them thugs and other things, they do that for their comfort, so that they can explain to themselves why bad things happen. And the truth of the matter is for young African-American kids and young African-American males, and I will tell you that Hakeem and VC and a couple of us yesterday, we had a press conference to reiterate that if we were not wearing suits, people would just lump us into the category as young black thugs based on how we dress. And it's unfair to do that to the Black Lives Movement that has been positive, that has created and sparked a debate where presidential candidates had to address the issue of whether black lives matter. And let's just say, the fact that their number one goal is that law enforcement not kill unarmed black people should be low-hanging fruit. The ultimate goal is economic opportunity so every young black boy and girl can reach their dreams. And about blaming President Obama, that's just absolute nonsense from people who just can't get over the fact that Michelle Obama, President Obama, uh, and his children wake up every day in the White House. Thank you, Mr. Richmond. Yes. 